I ordered another timing light and it's came in now and it is this one it says Trisco on the side and on the package um, but it is the one that multiple people had told me worked with their MVT ignition systems and it's basically just the cheapest timing light that you can find on eBay and AliExpress. I ordered mine off of eBay, but you can look on either one of those sites and look for the cheapest timing light you can find, and you'll find pictures that look basically like this, and that's the one. Um, it cost me 28 Looks like if you wanted to wait for China shipping, um, then you could probably get it for just over 20 bucks. But before I go to the trouble of setting up my timing indicator, um, finding top dead center with that and all those things, um, I'm just going to hook it up to the engine real quick and make sure it works because with all the uh, other issues I had I don't want to go through an hour or so of setup and then find that the timing light still doesn't work. Looks like that's actually going to work because as high as I revved it, it kept on flashing. It may not be the easiest thing to read because the timing pointer kind of jumps around, but it appears to work. So I just wanted to give you a better look at this light. Again, just look for the cheapest thing on eBay or AliExpress. It says Trisco on the side, um, but none of the listings that I saw actually said Trisco. Pretty typical standard clamps. Um, inductive pickup is red here, and then you got your red and black clamps there. So if I had to do this whole thing over, I would just start with buying this one and save myself a whole lot of money. I've had a few comments that I must add fuel when I install the MVT ignition system. So I just wanted to show you so you can see for yourself. This is my spark plug that I just pulled out while I'm setting it up. And it is almost totally washed clean. There's really no color aside from just right around the ground strap there. Because everything else is wet and washed clean. Alright, now it's all set up again. So that this yellow pointer is zeroed directly on top dead center. I thought that was going to work until just over 10,000 RPM and then the gauge took a sudden jump backwards. Um, that small tag just doesn't want to read up there. Could be a signal issue, maybe how I've got it set up. but. At any rate, my Trailtech Vapor, uh, the gauge that I normally have mounted to my scooter, seems to have no trouble reading RPM up there. So what I've done is I've just set up a GoPro to watch that, and then I can sync that with the other video looking at the timing indicator, and then we should be able to see what's going on finally. <laughs> Finally, after five timing lights, two tachometers, and a custom-made timing indicator, we can actually watch the ignition retard the timing as RPM increases. I couldn't do it by just watching it live, but I did finally get a map of the timing curve made up that I'll put on the screen here, and I'll also post a link in the description of the video so you can uh, download it at full resolution if you'd like. Um, what I had to do was I basically went inside, I synced the videos up, and then I watched frame by frame to try and pick out uh, different timing points because the light flashes so much that it disappears so often in certain spots that you really have to scrutinize the video to be able to see exactly where it is. So that's how I got this together. Um, there is a possibility, some people say, that the circuitry of a timing light and making the bulb flash and so on can naturally cause the um, can cause it to show ignition retard as RPM increases and it basically can't keep up so accuracy of this could be a little bit off, but this is about as good as I'm going to be able to do right now with this timing light setup. So what we can see, uh, between 2,000 and 2,500 RPM, you can see it's ramping up really quickly. That's kind of a guess on my part because no matter what I do, uh, the ignition timing is jumping around a lot when it is at idle, which is around 2,000 to 2,500 RPM for me. The ignition timing bounces around all over the place. And I think what happens is it's probably a pretty low timing, and then they ramp it up quickly. They want that low timing, um, as I mentioned in the last video, to try and help it start a little easier and not start and run backwards if the timing is way far advanced when you're trying to kick it over. Um, and then by 5,500 RPM, it gets up somewhere around 43 degrees of advance as I've got it set up. Um, 
before it starts retarding the ignition timing and then it's a pretty steady curve all the way down as high as I could get it to rev on the center stand or up on my bench was 14,600 or something like that so I've mapped out to 14.5 on here um, and there it looked like it had stopped at about 10 degrees of ignition advance um, so again we've got a pretty steady curve all the way from 5,500 to 6,000 down to 14,500 RPM it's continuously uh, dropping that curve off I hope I've been able to provide some useful information here for anyone that owns the MVT ignition system or is considering one. Do keep in mind this is an RJ34-6 CDI box. So if your ignition system has a different CDI box, this curve could be totally different. Also, as far as the exact timing figures, if your CDI or if your stator is set up a little different, so if you clock the rotor different relative to the stator and the crankshaft, then you can also see different timing figures. The curve would be the same with the same CDI box, but you may change the high and low points of the curve that way, your base timing essentially. So keep that in mind. Um, and if you've enjoyed the video or found it helpful, please give it a like, share, and subscribe for more. And thank you for watching.